need to come get her, y'all. Was she being a bully? She being a bully? Yeah, she is. Yeah, uh huh. She's getting on my nerves. You get that app yet? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the whole time was all I heard about. The whole time is why I started. <laughs> My dog on the show started late. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the 10 7 show with Tyra Tara Goose and myself. Yet another Sunday. It is 7 o'clock. So we are live and uh, we Thank welcome you. y'all. We appreciate y'all being here and uh, make sure y'all invite some friends and make sure y'all subscribe at the same time. All that being said, we're starting the show and y'all know how I like to start the show. I ask my people how they've been. So, everybody, how y'all been? Been good, man. Just working. That's good. It. Yeah, we're good. I was trying to think, did I do anything great this week? Now, uh, you know, it's crazy because you know, like we're no longer in lockdown. Of well, it's course. been for a while. Oh, yeah, of course, but it still feel like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> it does. We don't really go anywhere. Like we don't. You don't really like. You're not in an office. So. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I remember those days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Kind of miss too. those days. What? I don't miss the job. I miss those days where I was. Yeah. No, but you know what? Though I honestly think that our telework, um, it messed it messed up the office dynamic. Oh, it one hundred percent did. Yeah, I think oh, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, like, like the camaraderie is like isn't there anymore. It's 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 different. Mm-hmm. Oh well, yeah. So now you now what? Should happen organically. You now have to try and manufacture mm-hmm. as a supervisor. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? That's so true. That's true. To feel cohesive and connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which, which calls for a whole bunch more meetings and little yes. things that you have to yeah. meetings yeah. about meetings. Like, can we stop having meetings? Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I I say that. Yeah. Well, we try to like not do a meeting and do like huddles. So mm-hmm. I do like you change the name. <laughs> no, they're short. Like they're not. You like meetings? He's like thirty minutes, maybe. So it's hour. a mini meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a huddle. Let's have it's our a, five to ten meeting. minutes. Let's five let's to ten. Our minutes. mini meeting leading into the big meeting. <laughs> That's me on some Fridays. A huddle long. is when a when the group of your coworkers meet. <laughs> right. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stop it now. We trying. We trying. We trying. Thought about it even before we went on the 2020 thing. It, we had huddles. Yeah. We just roll our chairs over, meet, and then go back to our desk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid, honestly. Yeah. 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 Well, it gets the job done, I guess. For me. There you go. I guess that's what counts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good. I guess everybody's been fine. That was. The, <laughs> we went <laughs> that off was to a tangent. I don't even remember. Sorry, but uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. We got a pre meeting, <laughs> aka huddle. That's what she is. Yes, a pre meeting, <laughs> a meeting before the meeting. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that whole dynamic. When I went back to work, like back into the building, well, when I got the new job, mm-hmm. I was just like, it was, it took some getting used to because it kept feeling like, all right, I'm here for a couple of days. When am I going to be back home working? Like right, my body was like, All right, you're supposed to be home working, so mm-hmm. it took yeah. a little while to get used to it. I'm used to it now completely. Yeah, the drive is fun. I turn the music on, have a good yeah. time. Right. You'd be having a party without me, yeah. <laughs> a little mini concert in the car, yes. Yeah, you don't yeah. have, have traditional hours, right? Um, not like my mid shift. This is this is probably the closest I've been to traditional hours in my whole career. All right. Okay. No, but I'm saying so you you enjoy your drive because there's no traffic. Um, it's no, probably a little less traffic. Yeah, it's, not, it's not rush hour traffic. Yeah, it's not rush because I'm I'm out the door at like eight forty five nine o'clock. Yeah. So I'm not there, but coming home, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, coming home is not too much. It's not too yeah. bad. Until I get to a certain point. Right. So, yeah. Well, it's weird for me now because we both were working from home together. So now, you know, the kid's gone, he's gone. I'm home all day by myself. Yeah, what was that noise? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Well, welcome everybody once again to the 10 7 show. If you are new to the show, welcome, welcome. We are a very welcoming family here, and uh, we are family. Yes, we are. And uh, you know, we are. Sure subscribe and invite some of your friends to come along. Because we are getting into the show. So we're going to get into everybody's favorite part of the show and the people that have been here for a while. Y'all know what part of the show that is. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yes, it is the Would You Rather portion of the show brought to you by Therapeutic Billing. Tara, tell us a little something about Therapeutic Billing. Absolutely. I would love to. Therapeutic Billing is the largest, the largest. minority-owned and women-led <laughs> medical credentialing and billing firm in the United States. Therapeutic Billing offers a variety of services to independent providers and small group providers, including credentialing, recredentialing, insurance billing, bookkeeping, and virtual assistant services. To contact Therapeutic Billing, the number is 610-228-2029, and the web address is therapeuticbilling.com. Come, 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 come. <laughs> I know that's right. Support. For everyone that was here with us last week, I all know that Terry did that way better than I did. <laughs> like, Terry, your numbers, I hopefully did not go down because of me last week. Just saying, no, I, we've been good. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. My, my rendition was horrible. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. I, it, I wasn't that bad. Thanks, guys. it wasn't bad at all, Justin. You did good. Thank Thanks, you. guys. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Warms my heart. <laughs> All right, what you got, baby? All right, so Tara helped me out this week. Thank you. I really love your what would you do. So we're going to do that. But I also have some what would you rathers. So uh, go ahead. Feel free to put your answer in the chat. And if you're watching this later, still answer in the chat. We may come back to you. The first one is, would you rather only eat foods that are yellow or only eat foods that are red? Red. Red. So does hamburger count? Because it's red before you cook it. Like it's like red oh, meat. I no, I'm just asking. It's like it says foods meat. that are red. It, it, it didn't say. That's, that's red meat, yeah. Put ketchup on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll go with red. Like what can I eat? I can eat red peppers. I can eat a hamburger, steak. Yeah, yeah. starburst. If, yeah. if it was strawberries, strawberries raspberries, I just read somewhere that like Starburst are like banned in some places. Oh, yeah, I think it's probably the red dye. Yeah, yeah the red dye, and there's a couple of yellow dyes too yellow five yeah. and six. Um, what are yellow that you can eat? Like bananas, squash, yellow yeah, rice, squash, yellow pepper. Yes, yeah. yeah, um, not a big fan. You can do a yellow watermelon. Yeah. I remember we had one. Oh, yeah, yellow, yellow flesh. Um, uh, red. Oh, the red watermelon. <laughs> You could eat the red watermelon. It is. What else is yellow? It's, it's no yellow meat. Yellow peppers, yellow tomatoes. Yellow fin tuna. Put some turmeric on my chicken and make it yellow. <laughs> like turmeric on everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I mean, I don't it. really know how much variety you would get because even if you think about like just in like sausage, right? Right. Oil that comes out of sausage is yeah, red. Absolutely. So I you know you, you you're guaranteed to have more meat than you are that's what with red, red than you are with yellow. That's what yeah. Made me yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with yellow. I'm gonna be adventurous. You go ahead. You gonna be a vegetarian? Yeah. I know. <laughs> She's fine with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know I am. Uh huh. You gonna lose all the weight in the world. I know. Yellow rice and bananas. That's all you're going to eat. <laughs> she can have and guess what? Guess what? Corn. Yeah. I'm still eating bacon. I'm going to eat too. You can, you can have corn. You can have tortilla chips. Yeah. 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 There you go. It's things that can I be can done. Have, I can have a... a, a oh, oh. Um, a, 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 um, mangoes. Well, mangoes are like on the orangey side. And I Close want, listen, if I'm gonna take bacon, you can take mangoes. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll take mangoes all day. That's bacon one of my favorites. Red when you cook it, though. I'll keep the oh, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here we go with the next one. Would you rather give up your car or give up your phone? Oh, give up my car because Goose can drive. Well, I would give up my phone. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not my phone. What if there was a but, but meanwhile we all have lived all of us have lived in a world right we, with we left the house without a phone absolutely exactly so we and probably could give up our phone right we've Listen, walked places we done got on a step for many 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 years yeah so I'm, I'm gonna go without right. my phone I'll talk to you when I get back home yeah. I'm gonna go without my car because I could I could get an Uber. You phone. could get an Uber, you could get a Lyft, you could get Tyra to come get you. That's what I said. I'm goose can take Yeah, now nah, I made too many moves without the no Yeah, way. I can't. Yeah, I'd be I'd be broke if I had a yeah, I'd be broke. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that is true. Right. Yeah. I can get my phone and give me a two way pager. Hey, yeah. Pay phone. Two way pager. Oh, two way. Yeah. All right. So here's the next one. Would you rather end every sentence with a bark or <laughs> speak like a baby all the time? If somebody spoke bark. to me like bark. a baby all the time, I would be inclined to with choke them slowly. Really? Give me, <laughs> give me the bark. I'm Ain't that right? <laughs> totally with a bark. Totally with a bark. No. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'd rather talk like a baby. I couldn't have a conversation with you, Tyra. <laughs> you know, listen, first of all, people are like, what the F is wrong with you? <laughs> Exactly. I tell them, I have a store trying to order food. They're gonna be like, what kind of listen? <laughs> but, but like, I have a condition, okay? Like, I'll be like Michelle A. Like, I'm like, like, baby. Like Michelle a. Yes. Man, you uh, see, because you said talk like a baby. It ain't no, no one no I, can't, I can't take it. Because baby, they cool and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You're like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Said I would never talk. Never. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't wouldn't want nobody to end every sentence with a bark. Like, oh, what's your name? Girl? What's your name? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scared the crap out of me. Dude, DMX did it. And everybody loved him. That is true. Listen, all right, a Chihuahua bark. <laughs> <laughs> well, could you imagine the preacher being in the pulpit every is time? Is that better? Oh, oh listen. <laughs> like that preacher used to be is a cue. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Tyra. There you go. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let me go right, on, y'all. Yeah. Let me go on, y'all. Okay. So here we go. And then we usually, every now and then, we throw in a what would you do? So here's a good scenario for what would you do? What would you do if you got too drunk? And cheated on your partner, would you confess? Take it to my grave. Nope, I wouldn't tell nobody but God. So we all agree that we wouldn't tell. I guess so. I, ain't saying it. I think I would confess. Like I would feel weird for the oh, rest of my yeah. life. Maybe they go. They go. Honest Lucy. <laughs> you be willing to lose me? Yeah. I Die. Mean. Oh, <laughs> Wow, she didn't even hesitate. She was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd get over it. Wow. No, I wouldn't. I would have to tell you that I'm sorry. I would like blame it on the alcohol. Man, you say or that like, to me. Why didn't you, you call you said me? that to me? Yes, you would. Why didn't somebody me. call me to come pick you up? You just out here taking random peen. Uh, yes. Right? I, I mean, listen. I wish you would say blame it on the alcohol. Okay, that's right. <laughs> right. no speaking of English. <laughs> English. <laughs> See, yeah. now I know you would lie. It's like, listen, <laughs> you would hide it. Keep the lie alive. Yeah, that's crazy. No, I mean, I could, I don't, my conscience would probably eat me up. It would probably eat me up too, but I just be eating. Well, then yeah. we could just go to counseling. <laughs> you ain't going to no counseling for that. You, you cutting me. Well, I would not cut you. No, I'm, I'm talking about if it were me, I would oh, confess. If it, if it was you, we can go to counseling. If it was me, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. right. now, I did. Right. I can neither confirm nor deny that yeah, she, I said she, that you were trying to take you to counseling, but you can't even say you ain't fart. She done got drunk on a wild night, but hey, if I fart the wrong way. I'm out of here. That's not true. That's not true. I'm just answering the would you rather for those of, I meant the what would you do for those of you who are coming in at the tail end of this here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she said, said it ain't, it ain't that, that much counseling in the world. People wow. have gone through that and gotten over it. I'm not one of them though. <laughs> what y'all saying to each other over there? What y'all saying? Y'all over there kissing? <laughs> Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Was that the last one? That was the last one, y'all. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, let us know what y'all would do in, in, in this situation because, yeah. uh, you know, we told you what we would do, so it is what it is. But now we're going to move on to the other part of the show that people enjoy, and it's the part of the show where we take your letters, we take your emails, we take your, your posts and all that good stuff, and what we do is we, we read them and we keep it anonymous and we give you our best 
professional, unprofessional advice. All right. Or Let's get it. All right, Goose is up first. All right. <clears throat> Dear 107, I am a single 40 something year old man. I spend lots of time at the gym. I met a woman there two years ago. And we went out for coffee. She's a few years younger than I am. She told me she was married, but it was a complex marriage. What started as a friendship morphed into an intimate affair. We have many common interests and spend as much time as we can together, given the circumstances. I know she will never get divorced. I fall in love with her, but I I fall in love with her, but I have never pressured her to divorce. She has two grown children and she doesn't want to upset them. I get it. There are also financial considerations and entanglements. <clears throat> Over the last few months, our relationship has become strained. It has turned into a push-pull type of situation. I know it's unhealthy for both of us, but I can't seem to let her go. We've come to the brink several times, but we always have talked through it, and we keep limping along. I don't know how to stop loving her. Even thinking about it causes me great mental distress. I'm looking for suggestions to ease the pain and figure out how to move on. Bro, you get what you get. Right. I'm like, you want help? <laughs> right. What do, you, what, do you, what, what do you mean by you want help? Right. No, like you made that bed now sleeping. You knew Absolutely. going into this that she had a whole another situation. And now you got a whole situation. Carl listen, Thomas. Listen, uh -huh. now you going you going through all this. Y'all going to the brink and all that, and right. for somebody you can't even have. Yo, that's not really I yours. Reading, I was like, but you the side dude. Like he told yeah, me, I was. He talking like he the main dude. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Like, did I miss a sentence? Because this is the side guy. How many years has it been? Like, is it two years ago? So um, my question is: Is it is is her marriage still as complex now as it was two years ago when y'all met? Even more so now because she's got a boyfriend. Right. I'm just wondering. You know what I mean? Like, but you, but you, you don't stress yourself out over somebody you can't have. Right. Like, you, why? What's the point of that? That's just that. That ain't not why. Why? Yeah. Yeah. And moving on is going to be hard for you because you stayed longer than you should have. So. Um, yeah, you got comfortable. You left your shoes. You got there. comfortable, so it's you need to. You know, bad. cut all that communication off, and it's it's gonna hurt. It's not going. You have to treat it like a death. You have to yeah. warn you to treat it like a death. Mm -hmm. No, this is cut off all know. communication. We'll I mean, he can, from all that, social media. That could be part of it. He can go find somebody else, but right, you get over you her. Like, you have hair like her. <laughs> you smell like her. So don't turn. Please don't turn into a Dude, stalker. He's yeah. already there. You think? You think he's already he said thinking about not being with him causes her. great with her yes great mental distress. What is he is an L U H. You got it. You got it bad. Yes. Mm -mm. You gonna have to let it burn, bro. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, dear Tim Seven. Are they clowning you, dog? They, like... they might not be. They they probably know and don't get. Why would they care? They no, might. No, I mean, they, 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 they know, and they like, yo, why is you doing that, dog? Yep, they probably are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they are. Well, she not going to leave her That's husband. That's how we talk, exactly. dog. Why, why? They like, I told you, dog. You was spending. I told you. Yep. yep. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. All right. Let's move on to. Good the luck, one. dear ten seven. My husband and I have been together for six years, hmm. married for four. Hmm. We have had a lot of issues in our marriage during the last few years, sexually and otherwise. I no longer trust him because of something I found out last year. Hmm. I have his email information and I also was able to see the search history from his phone on the computer. I discovered that he watches a lot of porn. I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's not a big deal. Everyone watches porn. That's not true, but I saw he was also watching a lot of um, of gay porn and searching for, for pictures of well-endowed men. 
whoa, does this mean my husband is gay and likes men? Or does it just mean he likes different sexual things? What? Ma'am. Oh, what? Gay. I'm sorry, go ahead. You're okay. I'm okay. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure if I can if I can finish to read this letter. Well, but no. I don't know if I should approach the subject with him. I don't want him to know I'm snooping around. So how do I ask him about it without telling him how I know? Or should I just let it go? What? You not let it go, girl. But no. See, that's, that's, that's the thing about looking for stuff. When you look, look for stuff, stuff and you, you find, find it, stuff. you don't got no idea. Um, Honey, Man, if your husband, your husband is uh, sexually fluid, okay, and I mean, that's because okay. he's sleeping with you. We accept everyone. That's fine. However, you need to know so, because if he's doing stuff you, that you're not aware of, you're exactly in the unsafe zone. Exactly. Or if that's not the type of marriage you want to be in, and you need to prepare, you know, yourself for an exit. Oh, yeah. Who so uh, seems to think that they're not in a good space based on the, the sentence that she said they're not in a good space sexually? Like, either he. Well, maybe not, they're not in a good space sexually because he's not turned on by her. He's right. turned he on by him. But I wonder if it happened within aggression. the last year after she found his dingling searches. Oh, and yeah. Now oh, she yeah. don't trust him. Oh, and God. now <laughs> he, he, now she acts differently. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to want somebody that don't want you. I really think that's true. I really think it it deserves a conversation. And at the end of the day, what you found is kind of greater than the fact that you were snooping. To me. I think so too. I think so too. Because if he and, listen, you know, if he don't want you, if he wants to, if he truly is a homosexual and he wants to be with men or with a man. It, y'all, you, you can't give him what he wants. You're never going to be able to give him what he wants. So it's probably best to have a conversation and then go y'all separate ways. That's what I think. I mean, That's my opinion. Unless you want to... Depend on how the conversation go. But if you yeah. search for boys, Listen. men... It's plenty of women who boys. have stayed in, in those kind of marriages. Listen. You know, I don't know. What does he do? Is he a politician or something? Listen. Why you can mm -hmm. pop up, show up in your search activity. Yeah. What's I, what you know, what's his occupation? You, you, you may want to say okay. Up, then you don't want to back. Oh, I dig what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I Girl, talk to him. That's all. Talk to him. Yeah. yeah. yeah they got to have a conversation. Gotta to him. You got to know where you got, how you got to approach the whole thing. Yep. You, you have to talk to him. And listen, I'm going to tell you, when you, if you ask him, his first reaction is going to tell you whether he told the truth. Exactly. His very he's first. Like, Yo, do you like penis? He's going to be like, hell no, I don't like no damn penis. <laughs> that's, that's. He telling the truth. Exactly. But if he like, but what if you he mean? gets defensive, if he gets defensive, <laughs> like, what you mean? If he gets defensive, he lying. Or if he go, huh? Hey, 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 exactly. Somebody, somebody on Facebook. Get his nails like, done. Y'all get your nails done together. Exactly. Somebody, somebody on uh, somebody on Facebook says, slide in the sheets with a strap on. Oh. Oh. Oh, sir. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> we all was like, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, you all spit all over my equipment. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I know we got this show. We about to catch fire in this gym. Uh, no, we... <laughs> 24, 24 minutes. minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, y'all look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you just spit all over it. Hold you. It's not that deep. Oh, it's not that deep. Cold, it's gonna be all right. Tyra, if you feel that happening again, go that way. <laughs> I was thirsty, you know, my throat was getting a little Did dry. You on the camera too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> all right. All, all right, right, let's get to the next one. All so right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna next. take the next one. Um, good luck, honey. Definitely had that conversation. Absolutely. Okay, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Dear 10-7, my husband passed away last year from a long ordeal with a chronic debilitating illness. Before he died, my sister came to live with us as she was having a hard financial time. She lost her job due to the pandemic 
and I needed help with my husband. So it was a win-win situation for both of us. My sister and I have been close all our lives. As a matter of fact, I consider her to be my best friend. Aww. My problem is I've casually dated several men since my husband's death. I've welcomed the companionship and the affection I had been missing long before my husband passed. My sister, who has become somewhat reclusive, has expressed that I shouldn't be doing this and has gone too far as wait, gone so far as to say she doesn't want to live in a whorehouse. I don't want to get the she also <laughs> makes derogatory comments about any guy I've introduced her to. I think that after taking care of my ill husband for so many years and at my age, I should be able to do what I wish in my own home. But because of how she reacts, I stop inviting my male friends over Fuck because that. all she does is talk S-H-I-T and is so negative about everything. Let me mention here, all three of her grown kids have different fathers, but nobody said anything about that. Mm. I do not recognize this person anymore. What happened to my sister? I'm tired of walking on eggshells around her because the obvious, wait, besides the obvious and asking her to move, what can I do? Listen, first, you know what you do? Give it to her. Next time she talks, yep. she'll be like, listen, hey, shut up. Because you the one hit the trifecta on baby daddies. You know what I <laughs> mean? Give it to her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She, hey, you stop caring. Yeah. You think what I'm saying? And, and be like, listen, keep playing and you're going to be on the street. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, I go ahead. bottom line, I, like, who's house? <laughs> who's house? Mom's That's what you house. play it. Wake up to that. <laughs> who's house? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you should tell your sister how you feel. I wonder if maybe you know, yes, I wonder if maybe your sister is jealous of all the attention that you're getting. And, you know, maybe that's what it is. But I think you should tell her how you feel and then let her know, I think we need to separate this living situation, you know, so that I can have my space and my privacy and not, you know, and you not shame me for what I'm doing. Like, I'm not, you know, I think you just need to be honest with her and let her know that it's time for y'all to go y'all separate ways, living wise. Yeah. But just be prepared, no matter what you do, unless you're going to be upset with your sister. Yeah. What you, you to do. do, yeah, you're going to be the bad guy. 100%. Absolutely. Just, just be prepared for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Justin? Nah, I mean, I, I agree. Like, that's your, that's your house. Like, exactly. That's your crib. You know what yeah. I mean? She, she, can, she can go. She was there to help you. She's helped you. And now it seems like y'all situation, y'all can't live together now. Right. I wonder if the sister's working, though, work. like... <clears throat> she came to stay with her because she lost her income due to the pandemic. Like, I wonder if she's working. Maybe that's why she hasn't put her out yet. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. That could, that could Is your sense. sister like a, a 600 pound? Oh. 600 pound life tell, candy tell candy. your sister, tell your sister mind a business. Yes. That's Before what I really Yeah, tell her I'm mind trying to business. keep it professional. Tell your sister mind a bit. Before you get <laughs> up. All right. For Phil and send her to the exit door. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody said, roll it's out. Time for to, it's yeah. hard to have two queens in the castle. Want, is she the big sister? It doesn't yeah. say. Yeah, it doesn't really say. I'm just curious. Okay. All right. All Justin, right. you're up. My turn, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Make sure I'm getting to the right. Okay, here we go. Dear 10 7, I met a great guy. We've gone out on six dates and I'm taking things very slowly. This is the first time going out with someone in years since I got divorced. The real reason I'm taking things slowly is because a person who has a vendetta, a vendetta against me has made fake social media accounts to harass me. It's all over the internet, but all these postings and references are under my old married name. I am working to officially change my name back to my maiden name <clears throat> and have tried to contact the internet sites, but have had no luck. I'd love it if I, if my new guy never found out about it, and so far, I don't think he has. Getting my maiden name back should solve some, some of my problems as you have to dig deeper to uncover slanderous information. It won't surface in a quick search. Okay, it won't uh, surface in a quick search. Okay. I'm should I tell him about this or wait until we are in an exclusive and monogamous relationship? I am afraid to tell him now while the relationship is still new. I hope that once he... I want. I, I hope that once he knows me better, it will have less of an impact. What do you think? 
I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so confused. Like, what do you just yeah, call like, the internet? Like, hi, there's a I bad think, thing. I think what she's right. she saying is some bad stuff, but like, like bad is subjective. Yeah, I'm just like, like that's what I'm saying. What are they saying about you? It like, what's it, going it don't on matter what they're saying. It don't matter what they're saying. It, it really matters what whether or not she wants it out there about her. Like, it could be the truth, right? You it, know? Could it, be. it could be the truth, but um, but it's not being posted by her. So, so we're really talking about a harassment situation. I'm right. so talking about, uh, um, I, I guess you can't call it stalking, but it's a situation. It's a bullying situation. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I would tell them. I I don't know if I would. Personally, I, I probably wouldn't say anything yet. Y'all only been out a few times. Now I might be like, all right, this chick got some crazy past. I ain't dealing right. with it. And then he gonna go look for it. Um, yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, you might be opening a can of worms that don't need to be open necessarily. Right. So I would wait and see where the relationship goes. And if it, you notice things start to get deeper, then you let them know. Well, but no, right no. now, no. If she, no, I think if she feel strongly enough that she's calling Mark Zuckerberg at home to try to get this stuff removed. <laughs> <laughs> then she should tell him now. Oh, because, the, be, because the longer she kicked this can down the road, at least for yeah. herself, the more, the stronger her feelings are going to become. Mm -hmm. So then if he finds out later uh -huh. and he decides to break it off later, mm -hmm. she has more feelings for him, which means he's going to hurt even more. Sure. Oh man, that's so rough. Yeah, that's yeah this so is like a catch twenty two. No, well, I mean, I mean, I don't think you should say it on like the third date. Uh, here's the thing, like it's twenty twenty three, right? We right. all know that fake counts are made all the time by people. You get friend requests from people that you're that's already true. friends that's with true. all the time. Um, I think it would be e an easy explanation for whenever you decide to explain it, or whenever you decide to say something. If he happens to come across it, you know, hopefully he would say something to you uh, and then you can explain it. But, you know, for me, I just like, look, I, I'd leave it alone. I put it on my Facebook page or whatever page it is, <laughs> whatever. This is my only account. If it's not coming from this account, it ain't me. Somebody right. is doing what they doing. And then report the pages. Keep reporting them. Just yeah. keep reporting them. Yeah. We got a comment down there, Justin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, one person said, what's the vendetta about? Yeah, I'd like we, to we, know. We, we don't Me know. Too. Exactly. Me too. Um, and then uh, Kim says, I agree with Goose. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I guess I'm... I'm that's, that's the one you wanted me to get to? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Dang, I mean. Um, I think once you said that, I kind of mm -hmm. agree with you more too. Yes! Tell us the reason for the vendetta, Bernadetta. Exactly. <laughs> I need to know. Listen. Yeah, what's yes? That's us. This sounds juicy. Mm -hmm. You're leaving parts out. Somebody, a scarred lover that's mad. That's on some that's in their feelings. They mm -hmm. wanna, you know, now they want to slander her. Or is somebody that's telling putting all you? But it's her husband, though, right? She don't know. We don't know. She said, uh, well. Oh, you see, they only been on six dates. So maybe we'll wait till like date They've 10. They've been on six dates, but the person who has the vendetta against her, she don't name. I, it pro well, she's, she may not know. She may not know. Who. If whatever is being posted is true, she should kind of know. I mean, I, I, don't, I would hope <laughs> she would know. <laughs> Sorry. A group of people that knows this information. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only three yeah. people know. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Right. Unless right. you yeah. just that chick and everybody know. True. Well, there are some people <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> well, we, got one no. more. we got one more, and this this one pissed me off. Man. This one I just no. like that Yo. last year, ten seven pissed me yeah, off. This, oh, this, 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 <laughs> all right. I have been dating outside my marriage. My <laughs> husband doesn't know. Of course not. Well, he does now. <laughs> it's nothing serious. Just dinner, drinks, and dancing. All the men have been single. I would never go out with a married man. Oh, because you have morals. <laughs> <laughs> right. All of them have respected my boundaries. I don't want to be unfaithful to my husband. I'm just having a little fun. Do you think a little good night kiss would be okay to show my appreciation. 
First of all, you shouldn't be it's gonna turn into to a kiss. These fellas for next anything. thing, your legs gonna be on his shoulders. So, yep. Take your behind home, lady. It's what, what do you mean? I, I mean, you just casually I've been dating no, outside of my thing. marriage. You like, want to have some fun? Why you didn't have the conversation with your husband? So exactly. You know, you have an open marriage. Hey, hey, babe, not even open marriage. I just want to go eat with different guys. I don't think too many husbands are gonna be like. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. If you go eat with different females, <laughs> Look listen, we got a comment. <laughs> I agree with you. Boy. Last three comments that just came in. Look. Yes. Coming in. <laughs> she for the streets. She, she for the streets. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, you have, you have already been unfaithful. Exactly. Which lips? Which lips? She want kissed. Oh, who is that? Right. Yeah, Facebook, see, Facebook users are a little spicy. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. And, and I'm going to keep it oh, no, I'm I'm go where I want it to go. I'm going to just take it right here. Okay. You're asking this, is is it okay? Do we think a little goodnight kiss is okay to show appreciation? I'm going to I'm gonna do something I hate to do, and I'm going to answer this question by asking the question. Would it be okay for your husband to do it? Mm. And, then, and then whatever your answer is, is your answer. That's right. If it's okay for your husband to go on dates right there with yeah. other women and give them good night kisses, mm -hmm. and I, I, it's like she she feels like she feel good because she dating single guys and oh, she's married. Like that was like, or how dumb are you? That's like, stupid. That's even like that's like that's dumb on top of dumb. Like exactly. you're dumb for doing what you're doing, but then you're dumb for doing it with single guys like, because single guys they don't give a damn. Yeah, they don't right. to lose. Absolutely. Exactly. They're just waiting for they were just waiting for that, that moment. Like, do you have three hours looking at the buffet, but drinking Diet Coke the whole time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, <clears throat> I'm trying to put this comment. Oh, okay. There we go. Pull a you on you. That's exactly right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Actually, did she really write that? It landed in yes. our inbox. Yes, yes. Put it in our inbox. Actually, wrote it. And if y'all listen, if y'all want, if y'all want yeah. to have, uh, how's she gonna be sneaky and guilty? Yeah, exactly. You Maybe you should find your way to a church one day. We're probably gonna lose a viewer by me saying this, but you got to be about the dumbest, smart, dumb person <laughs> <laughs> that ever wrote into this. Thing. <laughs> yeah, like that. That takes the cake so you far since we've been doing this. Smart person, I'm gonna tell you right right now. I, I don't even. I'm not going. Yeah, exactly. You, just, well, just, you know, this ten seven letter though actually uh, goes right into our topic for today, which is: Can you be in love with more than one person? All right, Tara, take it away. Okay, family. <laughs> I'm, I'm addressing this question to the group and anyone else who's paying attention and watching if you want to drop it into the chat can you have strong feelings for more than one person Justin yes Tyra yes husband yes I agree <laughs> I like how we do that right right <laughs> that was funny. Can we envision our lives with more than one person even if wildly different justin i'm trying to envision it now it's not <laughs> working <out like that. laughs> answer wisely <laughs> so, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. no i can't i can't envision it okay tyra i'm gonna, I'm gonna blink three times soon <laughs> um i can't envision it you can or you can't? I can't. I okay. cannot. Husband? Nah. I'm good with one person complaining. I, well, <laughs> I knew one of y'all was going to say it. I thought it was going to be you. I thought it was going to be you. Nah, we ain't been married long enough, baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I say no because I just feel like there would just be so much more sex and I would never get anything done. Right? Probably, yeah. Like it was, somebody would always be wanting to penetrate me, ex well, ex all the time. Me, I'm not going for that shit. So <laughs> that's no reason for saying no. <laughs> we got another comment. <laughs> I'm get through, I'm get through. All right. I mean, I do believe that you can have strong feelings, but 
to be in love and have like two whole relationships, like that's, that's a headache. Well, I mean, it's, but people, but, but people as we heads. as we get into the topic, yes, that is going to come up because people right. are in polyamorous and polygamous relationships every day, and they make it work. Yeah, but not only that, I'm saying even back in the day, men had. Two families, two families, two, or more. Yeah, you, you do like, more. Yeah, yeah, we more. all know somebody pop pop that done had two sets of families. Absolutely, and absolutely. Two households, everything. So, all right. So, maybe are these men alive? Yeah, these comments coming in all crazy. I can't. Oh, they're coming in faster than you can. <laughs> I'm gonna say any any of these people are alive. Like, how long did they live with all these families? I mean, it's stressful. Like, I, one thing they probably are. I. I know people, and, I, and I'm going to read a comment from one of your friends that sent me an inbox earlier okay. today. Um, I know people who, who are our age, and their parents, their father, uh -huh. had another family. And they, my father had more than one than me. You yeah, know? Me too. I was rolling stone, ain't come just out there. Right. So it's, that's the thing. Um, all right, my next question to the group. Can you feel sexual desire towards more than one person, Justin? Well, I always got to go first. <laughs> um, Answer the question. Sir. Can you feel... So yeah, that's like being attracted to more, more than right. one person, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you say yes, Tyra. You say yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I agree. All right. Can we care about <laughs> and want to support more than one person, Justin? Hell no. Wait a minute, that's a two part question. Just in general, not you. Oh, well, well I'm saying that's a two part question. Like, it, is, it is a general question, but I am addressing it to my co host. Right. Okay. So, can you care about and want I to support? Can I, can I care, care about? about and want I can, to care, support about, I can more than, care about more than one person. Yes. Want to support? Will I want to support more than one person? <laughs> nah. <laughs> If you, but if you could, but though, see, see, that means, I don't mean I want to. once you get to the point of wanting to support a person, that's a relationship that has been cultivated to me, right? Right, yes. exactly. So, man, that's not just you know, what I mean, we met at the lunch spot this afternoon mm -hmm. type deal, that's right? Something that has been ongoing, and man, I was like, you know what, shorty, I'm, I got you. Mm. So, if somebody said that to me, you, you be against that, or. <laughs> As long as he paying the bills that I'm paying. <laughs> well, we don't need double payment of bills. I mean, what's <laughs> all right, Justin. That's I'm what sorry. I'm saying. Like, if you if you willing somebody come along want to pay all these bills, we may have to uh, we have to discuss. And we have to make some kind of arrangement. This is all I'm saying. Okay, so but when we think about love as a verb, a conscious choice to honor and respect someone, to choose okay. every day to fight for them. And although that is possible with multiple people, it is often more complex and more demanding. I mean, look at the sister wives. They're not even sister wives anymore. They don't no, I was going to say that. I knew that was coming, though, because Cody is a mess. I, I never watched it. I, I, I watched Big Love. That was something that we used to oh, watch yeah. together. But yeah, I watched it. And they also have a show called Seeking Sister Wives, mm -hmm. where people yeah, like seeking brother husband. It's, 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 it's some melanated people on there. On oh shows. yes, so Seeking yes. Sister Wives. It was melanated people on there. Um, yeah, and they was. I mean, like she would help him pick out women to date and all that stuff. And I, I just want to pull up this inbox. Wow. Um, so a friend of yours, okay. He he said, I, okay. Uh, he went to school with Goose. Um, he says that he's been in four long-term open relationships for nearly fifteen years. Oh, he said I can use his name. His name is Tony. He is in our group. Y'all might recognize him, Tony Steve. Um, he says I don't hide anything. Okay. I love each one and would do anything for them. And I do remember this a couple of weeks ago. He made a post. He drove 40 miles to get a burger for one of them because she she was craving this burger. And when he and then he found out there was one like 10 minutes from the house. Right. So he said 15 years in a four in four long term relationships with four different women for nearly 15 years. He's been. Is he married to any of them? No, he's no. not married to any of them. But I think. And I don't think he lives with them. No, I don't right. think he lives with them either. I, oh, I, well, I, yeah, you just have, well. Yeah. 
I invited him to call in, but he was busy. He's, so he's he, living a good life, saying like to me. Yeah, I'm about to say that's 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 easy. You know what I mean? That's just like you've been dating four people for years, mm -hmm. but to actually like be in a committed marriage to four different people, bro, you lose. I, I believe I lose my mind. I agree because it's just so much. Like I have to answer to one person. I don't know if I could answer answer to more than one person. Yeah. Well, you don't answer to me. Who was I talking about? Kim, Kim said, <laughs> Kim said Tell Tony, I said I need a couple bills paid I'm, and I'm single. I'll let him know. He's in our group. Hit him up, Tony but, Steve. But oh, you know, Lord. He said 15 years. 15 years. That's yeah. a long time. That's a long not responsible time. for any relationship happenings that, or mishaps. Well, we're not responsible for the mishaps at all. <laughs> we, we do, we do get. Be expected to be invited to any weddings or yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what we want, but we want the invite. Yes. Okay, so if if you love more than one person, and well, how do you how do you proceed with that? With just saying, all right, I can't be with both of y'all. Like, what is the determining factor? What makes like, you say? How do you choose one? Yeah, like, who, if you find that you on Chris, like on the holidays. This is what I'm saying. Like, if you find that you're in love with more than one person, how do you carry it on? Do you keep it going, see, or so, do see, you decide time, I gotta choose one? So the thing, so this is how I see it. So like my man Tony, he's open with all of his females. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, no, I can't be with you. We can set up a schedule. You get Easter, you get Thanksgiving. Oh, you like Halloween. You, you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> you like Halloween. So, like, it's like that. But for dudes who have like the families on the opposite side of town type deal, mm -hmm. yeah, they still doing the double Dutch dance. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> because, like, what does your Valentine's Day look and, like? And, 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 and I guess. If you're not being truthful 100% with both of them, then it's still, you know, some deception on your part, keeping track of what you told who and all of this kind of stuff. Exactly. Um, can you put up that last comment from Kim? So you cannot be in love. You cannot be, be in, in love, love with, with two people. people. I don't know if that's necessarily true unless it's infatuation with one. Yeah, that's what I think. You might I think love the way that they that. make you feel. Right. And a lot of people mistake that feeling, that infatuation, that lust for but love. See, but see, uh -huh. so but this is the thing. I believe you could be in love with two people, but be in love with them for two different reasons. Yeah. Sure. You so like, what like what? what I'm saying? So okay. like you have person A who has certain attributes that causes you to love them but then okay. person b who has total opposite attributes that you find attractive and that's what you causes you to love them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it love or just a strong attraction but, but, but so the thing about it is so is, there's some questions you can who, ask yourself yeah i was gonna say who's the say that so there's some okay. questions you can ask yourself okay so for instance what aspects of yourself come out with each person do you want to commit to one or both of them? You see, who are you compatible with? And are you truly in love or are you infatuated? Because it could just exactly. be like mm -hmm. what he do to so, you when he comes through on Thursdays. So right. all those questions to me are dumb because none of them give you a definitive answer on whether you love this person or not. Exactly. I agree with you. Questions that you can answer to say whether you love a person or not. That's just my opinion. So how do you know if you love a person? You know when you love a person. I got the feeling and it's making me oh, break <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, know, um, you know when you love a person. Like when you a kid, like when you a teenager, like you think you love somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like you're like, oh, I love her. Man, but you don't really... You know what I'm saying when you when you get a little older, your love is different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love is different in your 20s, 30s than it is in your teens. It's it's different. So 
to answer your question, like, do you, what, how do you know when you like you just know? It's just like asking someone, how did you know she was the one? You just know. You just know. Okay. And can you just know with more than one person? Yeah. What about people who are married multiple times? But it was yeah. But is it mul multiple times like separately with different like, different separate relationships? It's like, Not oh, all together. One, I love her. Ten years later, she's the one. I love her. Three years later, she's the one. I love her. Like what? Well, what? you know why? Because until <laughs> you like living in them long haul, like y'all living together, um, you don't really. You know what I mean? You don't really get a sense of that love until y'all been in it for a minute. You know what I mean? Until you ready to choke the hell out of them, then you don't. You know? Because <laughs> you don't want to go to jail. Don't act like right? love make you, made you not choke them. You right. You do? I love the hell out of time. Oh, I love you too. Yeah, I know. You like, love I love the hell out of me earlier. <laughs> But no, I mean, you can. I mean, it's possible. Like somebody's spouse may have passed away and then they find love again. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's possible to be in love with more than one person. I yeah, guess. but see, in your example and in her example earlier, like the one person, in your example, the other person is no longer around. Right. So you don't have to show love for that. You person. can't compete. Right. Right. But you still right. hold that love in your heart. There's love right. in your heart. You don't have to be in love with that person. You don't have to. Right. You know what I mean? like, yeah. It's there not, are situations really, like divorce, right? Mm -hmm. Where you you no longer married, but you may definitely still be in love right. with your ex wife or your ex husband, yeah. Yeah. and right. you moved on, right. and you're in love with your current spouse. Yeah, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So now, yeah. you're both call you're sacrificing all you got to try right. to figure out how to make both of them happy. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of situation yeah. I'm talking about. I think it okay. comes to be uh, it, it, there comes the, the the pursuing of it. I think has to come into play at some point because if you're divorced now, you're not even pursuing that person anymore. Yeah, no, nah, but but what I'm saying is, even though you're divorced, y'all still may be friends. You might be right, and friends. yeah, and you right. can still love them. That, I'm not saying that. Wrong, so that and, and, and it might not. You know, every divorce doesn't have to be bad. You did right. what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys are still cool with each other. You. you know, it, it's but the love is still there. You just can't do it. But can do you do you think that if that happens, if 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 you're still in, if you still love that person, that you can find new love being love with that person, and then that being in love with your ex not affect what's happening in your new relationship? Yes. Yep. So the but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. With, your new, with, with, with your new mate. Would dictate how much you say. <laughs> you 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 understand what I'm saying? Because it's not necessarily that you hide anything. You know, we're co-parenting, but you don't tell them all of your feelings and everything. So, so okay. you, you you kind of bring up a good point because when when we kind of looked at this on the surface, we kind of thought about being in love with two people and and being in pursuit of them both of them at the same time or being with them at the same time right. but you can be in love with two people and one that you can't have anymore right. like the oh, dude earlier you definitely exactly. can. right you know, oh absolutely is in love with that girl that she can't have yeah that he can't have that right. he can't have yeah, yeah. Whatever, you know yeah. 2023 i don't mean no right. yeah <laughs> so just just so i can wrap this article up okay there's a difference between infatuation and love, but love, like legitimately, this to me is the whole complete definition. Love is an experience built with time. You agree? I agree. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to say. Intimacy and a sense of knowing who the other person is. Right. Love is a verb, an action, and a choice of how we show up and honor our dynamic with the other person. Love is sensible, stable, and respectful. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay. <laughs> so let me ask you a question then thinking about that yeah. definition. Yeah. So when you get married, are you really in love with that person? Or is it a deep infatuation? Depends. Because if that love is an experience over time, then you're not it, really it, it in love. It depends. You, you love them. Well, 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 well. well. It depends. Yeah. How long it took for y'all to get married? <laughs> but 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 over time is subjective. Mm -hmm. Right. You did what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be 
20 years. It don't have to be five years. It don't have to be right. six months. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Because dig this. The dating and courting period, to me, mm -hmm. is your opportunity to show someone that you're worth loving. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? So listen, this, this is it. if you choose to love me, this is what you're going to get. Yep. And, yeah. that, and you know, and you know what you're getting. Well, you should anyway. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it does. It it continues to grow. It continues to evolve. It changes. Yeah, it changes over time. I mean, some somebody somebody on Facebook says I think there's a different there's different types of love. You can never have the first love. You can never have that first love vibe. You only get that once. But as you evolve as a person. Your perception of love changes. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that kind of like what I was saying earlier. Like your love is different than your teenage years than your mm -hmm. your twenties. Absolutely. But but the thing about it is because you're not the same person that you are. Exactly. No. Twenties no. as you were in your teenage years. Mm -hmm. You have experiences Absolutely. and knowledge in which to base your decisions off of. You did what I'm saying. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's kind of like we said months ago on the show. Um, you, you're married to ten different people throughout your marriage because you all, as yeah, people, changing. you evolve all the time. You're always evolving. So. Mm -hmm. Some true. people are lucky to be married ten different people at once in one person. Oi, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're That's called my cold. Cold. <laughs> Hey, look, look uh, shout out to everybody that's checking us out. Anybody yes. that's new, checking us out for the first time, we appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, we have people, some people watching on Twitch. If not, subscribe on Twitch or whatever it is on Twitch, follow. Uh, we appreciate that. And also, join the 107 group on Facebook. It's a, it's a whole community. We got it's popping what, in like over 1,000 people in there now. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's over 1,000. Over, yeah, a over a thousand people in there, so we should have some more subscribers on YouTube. I'm yeah. just saying. So <laughs> yeah. um, make sure y'all you make sure y'all do that because we appreciate y'all and we having fun all week long. And mm -hmm. we just, uh, we just start the week off with the show at seven o'clock on Sunday night. So right, make sure y'all come through and experience as a family. We have a great time. Um, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into our final twist. Does anybody volunteer to go first? I Goose volunteer. <laughs> oh, I was going okay. Go ahead. So, oh, go ahead. Ladies first. Oh, you go ahead, cuz, if you want. No, it's fine. You know, I just, you know, I'm doing my quote for Women's History Month. Oh, that's right. So, All right. Yeah. So, so, so mine's oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so is uh, from uh, Maya Angelou. When people show you who they are, believe them. Amen. Absolutely. That's one of my faves. Mm -hmm. I wish I had yeah. known that yeah, when yeah, I was young. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said DMX said the same thing. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did, did you wanna, did you wanna, so this is crazy because this was in my fortune cookie last night. Oh, cool. Um, now everybody knows we had Chinese for their last night. Yeah. <laughs> so it says any day above ground is a good day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy is so in you know. In my comings and goings in the community and in the streets, you know, I speak to people. And one thing that I always say is, as long as we're above ground, oh yes, you we can see. work on any problems or concerns that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for the for me to get this in my fortune cookie, I was just like, oh, that's my that's my thing. That right is there. pretty cool, considering all the that other. Was meant for you. Yes, it was, and I like it. Post I like it. Too. Yeah. Take a picture of it. Tape it up somewhere. Oh yeah, I got. I put it with my collection. <laughs> <laughs> you go. All right, y'all want me to go? Go ahead. I'll go last. All right. So we we lost quite a few actors this week. Um, we did. I'm not gonna yeah. name them all, but we lost quite a few actors this week. Um, oh, one that I just saw that we lost uh, today. Or I think we lost him yet last night, but we lost. I saw it today. Sean Lampkin uh, died at age fifty-four. Yeah. Not sure who Sean Lampkin is. Sean Lampkin played Nipsey on Martin. Mm -hmm. So um, oh. one of my one of my favorite uh, characters on Martin that wasn't like a regular character and wasn't like a you know one of Martin's characters was Nipsey. Right. He always gave you the well, all right, and that, that I like to say that all the time. So uh, that was the name of the bar, Sean right? Nipsey's. Nipsey's. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? 
sweet talk do that. All right, the, dog, the dog just sat in my uh, ear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry, good time. So I'm addressing this to husband. Oh, but he looks away. <laughs> Please don't. I know, me. I know, I'm a handful, but that's why you got two hands. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's it. That's it. it. Yes, that's why he's look big banana hands. <laughs> <laughs> well. We're going to get up out of here. I, said, I almost said, well, all right. Well, all right. We're going to get up out of here. We appreciate y'all hanging with us on the 10-7 show. Check us out every Sunday here at 7 o'clock. If you, uh, if, you, if you don't have, if you don't get a text message from one of us to get to, to watch the show, make sure you're on our Facebook group page where you can see a link to the show. And it's posted Absolutely. every Sunday in the morning time, mostly, depending on you know what time I get up. And um, <laughs> today was posted very early because I got up very early this morning. And, uh, you know, and share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your enemies, because, you know, we love to have a whole group and have a whole conversation. Appreciate y'all bringing in the comments. Y'all kept the comments. Yes. Me. I couldn't even keep up with all of them. And the ones that I didn't get to, I, I, you know, apologize. But, you know, it is what it is. It, Come back next week. That's what I think. Come back next week. I'll get you in there. All right. So with Tara, Tyra, Goose, and myself, we're going to get up out of here. We appreciate y'all. Talk to y'all next time here. Have on a good the week. Be kind of people. Peace.